Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Best Mountain Farm, and we are in the back living room. Uh, as you can see, coming along, still got to get the trim uh, finished. I've got a lot of it made, but there's a lot of trim, uh, and with the weather and whatnot, it's been kind of crazy. Plus, I've been trying to clean the barn up. And it's supposed to rain even more. And it's supposed to rain more. Uh, you guys can see I got Victor, Victor back hung up. Uh, may not be his permanent spot, but wanted to get him back up and started getting working on this room. Want to make better uh, tops for the dog crate so they can double as dog crates and shelves uh, for the entryway area. And you guys already saw here the chestnut uh, barnwood shelves that I made. So now today, with the help of Aiden here, uh, I'm going to get my brackets made and we're going to figure out how we're going to put them up. So I have three long shelves, so we're trying to decide if we're going to do just three long shelves or cut one in the middle or off centered and, you know, make them look good and put them on this wall so that I can show you display and show you guys some of the really cool stuff that I've collected over the years, uh, both stuff I've collected and a lot of heirloom stuff. So, Aiden's going to be helping me film, and he's going to be learning how to use one of these. This is a Craig pocket tool jig, and pretty much one of the handiest possible things you can have for making any kind of furniture uh, or working with wood, period. I used one before. Okay, well he's got an idea on how In to... shop class. In shop class, so there you go. Shop class is teaching him something. So, the first thing we're going to do, and I've already got some measurements. Here you go. Uh, so I just set my I set my uh, big square here up, and I want the brackets to come near the front, but all the way to the front. So I measured at the 45, and about 11 inches is going to be where I'm going to want for my bracing to hit the wall. So I've got my four by fours or my two by fours, chestnut two by fours here, which are also really pretty, and. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and cut two of them at 11 inches, uh, 45 each direction, and we'll probably go ahead and get one, our first shelf up high hung, to make sure that the brackets are going to work and all that, and then after that we will go from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is mark, and I don't feel like having to go through the slop and the mud uh, to get the chop saw up here. I already fell today. So we are going to do this the a little bit more tedious way. And it will still work. It's just going to, I'm just going to take a little extra time to make sure I get a nice straight cut. Look at that. <laughs> and battery. Battery. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so we've got our battery. We got our battery now. And while Aiden was, uh, Grabbing the battery, I went ahead and did some extra measurements here just because I wasn't exactly sure where I wanted the um, my supports to hit. And so I took it down a little bit to nine and not an eighth quarter. I know I marked nine and eighth, nine and a quarter inches. <laughs> Always double check your angles there. The hardest part about one of those. I hear a rooster. George is making noise. I don't think George likes the peacocks. The, the one thing that's bigger than him. Hold for me. Yep. Yep. We 
we've got our first block. I got off just a little bit on it, but it's not really going to matter because more than likely I'm going to have to do some adjusting anyway uh, because of the walls aren't perfectly straight. So we're going to go with that one. We're going to cut one more and then we're going to put it up and see, uh, see how our, see how everything looks. with one shelf up. You came in. I don't remember exactly where we were. <laughs> so I want to tell you about what the Craig jig will do for us. So this is a Craig jig. You pick them up Lowe's, Home Depot, any hardware store. It's a pocket Craig jig. Yeah. Well, Craig's the name. Yes, this is a pocket hole jig. So what this is going to do is this is going to allow us to drill a hole and at an angle so that our screw is going to come out here in the center when we hang it up. Uh, that way we can join two pieces of wood, put stuff on the wall and have as much, the screw going through as much as the wood here and it's gonna be exactly the same every time. So what I'm doing first is I'm gonna mark where I want the edge of the jig on this one. So I'm just gonna come about a quarter of the way, quarter of an inch past this side and then I'll mark the other side and I'm gonna use this one as my template. Uh, so I'm gonna put a screw on one side, then I'm gonna come down to about here and put a screw here, and then I'm gonna put a screw right in the center. So I'll have three screws for my uh, support brackets. And they'll be crossing. Now, because I had more wood up here, now you can see I've got a nice hole right here and a pilot hole. So now when I put this, I've got this set on an inch and a half. So I'm using a two and a half inch screw. So my screw is gonna come out about right to where the threads are. So I always wanna make sure and use the correct length uh, screw for whatever depth you have your Craig jig set at. <clears throat> so for this next, <gasps> and I think that <sighs> oh, that will work. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these brackets up so I can show you guys what we're talking about. And then we will go from there. I think your dog wants to come in. I know. All right, so if you're doing this, back up a little bit. If you're doing this in an old home, like this one, whatever you do, don't measure from the ceiling, don't measure from the floor. Uh, because your shelf will be, and don't, do not by any means use a level. Uh, because if I were to put a level up here and use that for my guide and put the shelf level, either the shelf's gonna look really crooked or the wall's gonna look really crooked. Uh, luckily with this bead board, I have a guide here. And I'm just gonna go with the, um, with the bead, because that's gonna be the most noticeable part. So I'm gonna use that. Now, I want to, okay, so I can actually 
this door, if it opens, I can put a stopper there and my shell, it won't hit my shelves when it's opened all the way up. I need the square. And I'm just gonna take a wild guess and go here because, and then I can adjust my um, long shelf as I need to. All right, so we're gonna put that. You want to the drill? Yes, thank you. Pilot, that little end on that uh, drill bit drills a little bit of a pilot hole there so that your screws always go in at the correct level. All right. And because this is three quarter inch beadboard, uh, like normally you'd want to make sure and hit a stud or um, you know, use drywall anchors, but this bead board is three quarter inches thick, so that's gonna be more than enough to handle the weight of what we're gonna put up. All right, now I'm gonna have Aiden, we're gonna just set the camera up. We're gonna bring one of the long shelves over here, and because our piece of bead board doesn't go all the way across, I wanna have one of the other support ready to go and set one end of the board up here, and that way we're gonna be able to get the, um, eyeball where we need to put the next bracket. I'm stopping and going. Before we, uh, all right, so before we put our, uh, test our shelf, I'm gonna go ahead and square these up because, you know, they're they're not squared at all. I had a little bit of sniper, or sniping right here uh, from the planer and on that side, some termite damage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, kind of square them off and make them look right. All right, so you can see it's still the, it's still for it to look correct. Couldn't really run level to the bead board because the board has just a little bit of a bow in it, and then there's the door. But just looking at it aesthetically, it looks correct, and that's why anytime I'm working on an old house or something like this, make it look correct to your eye, not necessarily a measurement. So. Um, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and make our other brackets. And I did forget on this one, I also need to put at least one, um, well, on the, actually, you know what, on the top, I will go down from the top, from the shelf into here. And on the back, actually, <laughs> so I did have this plan. So on the back here, I am gonna put two Craig jigs 
or two pocket holes here and here to go to the back wall and that's going to hold the shelf and make it a little bit stronger. So we got two shelves put up and we talked about, you know, we were going to cut one in half or something like that, uh, which was our plan, but it's going to be our plan regardless because go down to the end and take a look up. This thing. So if you take a look, this board, uh, I guess maybe because of humidity change, I'm not really sure, decided to bow really good. Well, you can see it just uh, from looking at it from the front. So it'll be easy enough to fix or with this board because what we'll do is we'll cut it uh probably right along here somewhere and that way we'll have a longer piece we'll take a look at it but it will get rid of the really long noticeable bow um and kind of make two smaller bows instead of one really big bow they're rustic shells so i, I don't really mind so once we get these set up uh get this cut to length we want to take a look at it uh, and then get the rest of our placement done and our brackets up then we'll put our uh, holes in to go into the wall to hold the shelves in place 
and then we'll be good to start doing the fun part of putting some of our cool stuff up there. we've got to do is just put a couple of pocket holes in here to screw it screw them through the wall and that's just going to add a little extra support copper's afraid of the dark apparently he's hungry it's coming soon
All right, guys, so here we go. Our rustic white chestnut uh, shelves. I think they look pretty good. That's kind of how I wanted them to turn out. Um, yeah, we had to, I'm gonna need to oil the ends here uh, in a few minutes. And other than that, I really like it. Um, probably gonna, you know, still gotta trim this door out. I don't know why, now that the shelves are here, I'm not sure I'll do a whole lot more to where the existing door used to be. Except for maybe just put some, you know, fake door casings around it to still showcase the door. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Now, you notice where the, the holes are for the pocket, or the, the pocket hole slots. Now, there's dowels that I will put in here, and then I will stain the dowel to a, uh, with a chestnut stain to get close, and then oil it, so it'll hide very well. However, I'm not going to install those until I get through with the trim work, the door, because these might have to come off uh, once or twice um, over the next couple months. Uh, since you know this room is kind of our rainy day project literally uh so all all those will be getting filled or getting filled a little bit later on but overall i think uh come back this way overall i think it turned out really really nice um yeah so kind of getting late out so of course farm stuff to do and so i think we're going to call it a night and uh we're not putting all our stuff up here um maybe this evening we'll see we got to take care of some farm chores uh or tomorrow and okay, we got to clean it all as we go too so anyway if you want to see all the stuff i'm going to put up here Make sure and like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.